how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too. I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you so much for your love, for your support. I don't take it for granted, guys. I appreciate much, 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 much. But if it's your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe and you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends i know that most of you that watches my videos either you have been on online dating apps or you just started your online dating journey to search for love, search for that right guy, or you are about to start your online dating journey. And guys, one thing that I wish every woman that is on online dating apps, maybe you have been there or you're just starting, is to be aware of the reality of online dating apps or sites. Once you know that, then your searching experience will be so so easy but when you don't know anything you are not aware of how online dating world is the reality then that's when most of you give up halfway that's when most of you go to these dating apps and then you get scammed that is when most of you go to these dating apps and you find very, very wrong people. You fall into the hands of wrong guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I promised this video of today. So today is the day. <laughs> we are going to be having a story time of an Ethiopian lady by the name of Lillian in her late 20s found love on online dating apps with an american guy by the name of max so lillian thought that the guy was the one thought that he is the husband material and this guy took things to the next level which was engaging her but after this american guy proposing to lillian later on lillian discovered things that made her regret meeting that american guy and that is why i've been telling you it is good for you guys to be aware of the reality of an online dating apps whom you are going to meet on online dating apps and that's why your sister has been here bringing you stories both good stories that yes you can meet good guys on online dating apps but at the same time you can meet very very bad guys but for lillian sadly or unfortunately didn't have any experience of how online dating can be or how online dating guys can be so if you are on online dating apps i know you are <laughs> <laughs> or you are about to start in today's love story you are going to learn a lot guys a lot i always tell you every love story is different so as lillian's love story also when she was telling me this story was like bella i am telling this story to help other women out there not to fall into the trap that I fell into. And I really appreciate Lillian for sharing her love story, her experience. Because it's not easy, guys, and not everyone is open to tell you what they went through. Some people keep these things for themselves, maybe because they feel ashamed, or they just don't want to talk about it, because talking about it reminds them of the bad experience. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let's jump into Lillian's love story. So Lillian's love story starts with her past love relationship experience before joining online dating apps so that you get to know why Lillian decided to join online dating apps. And we're going to be learning also something from her past love relationship experience. So was Lillian in a love relationship with an Ethiopian guy? Lillian tells us, yes, she was in a love relationship before, actually two failed relationships. 
with Ethiopian guys. So the first Ethiopian guy for Lillian to date tells us they met at the university and they were crazily in love with each other. Everything was going in the right direction and graduated. After graduating, they kept on dating, their love growing stronger every single day. They dated for two good years, but in those two years, that guy never introduced Lillian to his family. And Lillian did not care that much cause was like, I'm not in a hurry to get married now. Let us keep on, you know, enjoying each other's company <laughs> and see how things will go. And on Lillian's side too, never introduced that guy to her parents, but tells us her sister knew about him, her cousins knew about him, cause sometimes they could hang out together. So friends, I've got a small tip for you. I've been giving this tip to ladies that I guide on online dating apps. I have noticed that most of you, especially maybe you are young, you know, in that young age, you don't have enough experience when it comes to dating. You are there full of life. You decide to date a guy just, you know, to be in a relationship. But is that relationship healthy? You don't know. <laughs> Some of you have been heartbroken on online dating apps. You have seen it all. <laughs> when I talk of scammers, you guys know how it's like. When I talk of, you know, time wasters, you know. Guys asking for nude photos, literally, you know it all. But you just decide to be on online dating apps just to be there. And when a guy comes, for example, you have been on online dating apps for five years, then a guy writes to you and he seems kind serious. <laughs> you decide to invest your time in him, but tell yourself, I'm not going to put lots of expectations into this guy. Then dear sister, why are you chatting with him? Cause no matter how you have had a very bad experience on online dating apps, but you are still there searching, then that guy should be a right guy. He should have everything you ever wanted in a guy, should treat you well. And as a Bella baby, you should follow online dating rules. Stop dating guys for the sake of dating and giving an excuse. Bella, I've seen it all, you know? <laughs> so anyways, I'm just chatting with him. Do you know what is gonna happen? You keep chatting, you know, when you chat with a guy every single day, you get attached and eventually fall in love. But because the way you started that relationship, like, you know, I'm not expecting a lot. <laughs> When you fall in love, you start having expectations. And at the time you wake up, then that's when that guy ghosts you. Then that's when that guy tells you, oh, you know, you are very far. I think we will never meet because I'm not financially stable. I can't afford traveling or I cannot afford bringing you here to visit me. So let's end it now. That's when you start, you know, complaining. I knew it. These online dating guys are like that. Stop wasting your time, my sister, by dating a guy on online dating apps just for the sake of dating. You who are in real life, you have had lots of heartbreaks. Still, this can happen to you. You'll be like, I don't know whom to trust. But at the same time, anyways, a guy is interested in me. Let me give it a try. And I'm not expecting anything anyways. <laughs> Do you know the truth? <laughs> you are the ladies that when things really go bad with that guy that you never had lots of expectations, you get hurt the most. Yes. Speaking as a lady, I've been there, guys. <laughs> yeah. So let's all stop dating guys for the sake of dating. If you feel like you have lost hope, in guys better take a break that time that you are going to waste dating a guy just for the sake of dating invest it in yourself by loving yourself by bringing yourself close to god okay 
So Lillian was young, full of life, and was dating that Ethiopian guy just for the sake of dating. I don't have lots of expectations. After all, I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they kept on dating, all was good, hanging out with her sisters, with her cousins, and after two years and a half, do you know what she came to find out? She came to find out that that guy was also dating her cousin sister. Oh my god, she cried a lot, was so heartbroken. And I can feel her, guys. You know, a guy leaving you, maybe because of some other reason. Maybe you got a job in another city and you're living maybe in a different city. And he tells you, this cannot work. Yes, it hurts, okay? But it doesn't hurt you like a guy dating your cousin. Someone that you trusted 100%. Someone that you never expected is going to betray you one day it hurts a lot a lot a guy to leave you for another woman and not just any other woman your own cousin sister so lillian was so broken at that time and had to end the relationship with the guy leave him for her cousin decided to move on with her life but took so long to start dating again so guys, after Lillian taking a long break without dating anyone, you know time heals. So I thought like now I am ready to start dating to hell the past. <laughs> and that's when Lillian's friend introduced her to this cute Ethiopian guy. That cute Ethiopian guy was also a friend to Lillian's friend. Yeah, so that's when they started dating and Lillian had to trust the guy because the friend connected her to him. So she was very, very sure that guy is a good guy and he's gonna treat her good. And that's how things went. The guy was really good, spoiling her, respecting her. He never ever shown like any sign of a guy who is cheating and whenever Lillian could be with his friends could always talk about how good the boyfriend is how she trusts him and I know when we fall in love so deeply we tend to do that we tend to really trust men a lot but as your sister, I'm here to tell you, never trust someone a hundred percent, especially if you guys are not married yet. Maybe you have lived with that person. You know his weaknesses, you know his strength and all that. So for me, I don't think it's right for a lady who just started dating a guy you have not lived together or anything you go around and tell your friends i trust him a hundred percent but lillian did and we're gonna find out what happened after so guys lillian even this time around this second guy never introduced her to his family it never happened and whenever he could travel to his parents to see his family he would always travel alone and Lillian saw that as you know something normal so as they kept on dating one day this guy told her I am going to the village to visit my family like I always do but this time I'm going to be staying there for two weeks Lillian was like it's okay and then the guy left to the village to visit his parents so when he arrived there the first week yes could communicate with lillian but not every day he could communicate with her like today then after two days quiet then the third day he comes and talks to her telling her he has been busy you know with the parents helping out guys if you ever hear any excuse from a guy just know that something is not right somewhere because if a guy truly loves you, you will never hear any excuse. But as for Lillian, did not see that as a red flag, was at peace. So after one week and a half, the boyfriend being in the village received a call from that friend 
that connected her to that guy. The friend was like, Lillian, where are you? I would like to talk to you. Lillian was like, I am in the market. Then told her, when you arrive home, please call me back. And yes, after the shopping, Lillian went home, called the friend. So when she called the friend, the friend asked her, can you handle bad news? Because I've got bad news for you. She was like, yes, I can handle. Just go ahead and tell me what it is. Oh my God. But at that time, Lillian did not suspect anything about the boyfriend. Yes, was scared because when someone tells you I've got bad news for you, you get scared, but you just don't go and start thinking of your boyfriend, the boyfriend that you are at peace with. So the friend told her it's about your boyfriend. Oh my God. Lillian tells us that's when she started trembling. <laughs> like what has happened to my boyfriend? That's when the friend told her actually got a call from someone in the village. Of course, the friend was coming from the same village where that Lillian's boyfriend is from. So she told her that she got a call from someone in the village telling her that Lillian's boyfriend just got married and there is a very big wedding ceremony going on at his house. Actually, even that friend didn't know anything, was also in a shock. Lillian kept on asking her, are you sure of what you're telling me? She was like, yes, I am very, very sure and you're free to call him and ask. Oh my God, Lillian started crying a lot, started, you know, remembering her past because the first guy cheated on her with her cousin. Now the second guy dated her. She thought all was good. That guy was going to be the husband, but it turns out, no, the guy was just a player and only using her. Went and married another woman. Poor Lillian couldn't believe what she has just heard. So the friend told Lillian, Lillian, I'm really, really sorry for this. Lillian was like, thank you. Ended the call immediately to call the boyfriend. And when she started calling the boyfriend, he was offline. Lillian kept on calling, you know, sending countless messages and couldn't wait for that guy to come back online. But that guy never came back online and Lillian thinks maybe he changed his phone number and that's how the relationship ended later on came to hear again from the friend who gave her the news that he got married that he has transferred to another city that's where he works so she has never set her eyes on that guy again and from that heartbreak told herself me lillian dating again ethiopian guy that's a big big no i am going to date any other guy from other country whether a white guy or a black guy as long as he is not an ethiopian then for me that's okay but ethiopian guys never ever in my life so guys lillian continued with her life working you know concentrating on herself because her chapter with ethiopian guys was closed so she kept on meeting new people but not dating them <laughs> both men and women so through that met a lady and they started being friends and as they became friends because the lady was single told her that she is using online dating apps because her too her past relationship experience she had had enough share with Ethiopian guys. So they had some things in common and that's when she shared with her dating apps to try the ones that she was, you know, using at that moment and tells us, shared with her Afro introductions and okay, Cupid. But for her, decided to first try it with Afro introductions. So Lillian tells us after joining Afro introductions, did not have any experience of how online dating world can be. But one thing for sure was so determined to find the right guy on Afro introductions. So after setting her profile, you know, she had very cute, 
photos and she's a very beautiful woman so she received lots of messages from afro introductions chatted with lots of guys from different countries but did not find anyone that they connected so after staying on afro introductions for one week received a message from an american guy by the name of max and when she went through his profile she liked everything that she saw on his profile decided to give him a chance they started chatting as they kept on chatting they kept on you know connecting tells us they connected really really fast in a very short period of time cause he could tell her very sweet words tells us he could tell her the words that every woman could feel so happy to hear those words from the guy and another thing is that max knew that Lillian is a family oriented lady so immediately he started talking about you know having a family with her you know getting married to her something that really made her happy and thought I have found the one so in Max's introduction told Lillian that he works at a certain train station he is an engineer in that certain train station in America he also added that he is an army guy who served and still have some deployment to deal with. So Lillian tells us because the guy told her everything that she wanted to hear, he was sweet, he was so gentle and at that time Lillian was vulnerable, yes, due to her past love relationship experience because at some point was like maybe i am the failure so coming across the american guy that is telling her you're so beautiful that is telling her i want to marry you you are perfect for me <laughs> gave her more positivity confidence and started believing that i am not a failure and i'm going to make sure i show them you know <laughs> that i am not a failure so we have to learn something here guys i told you we all have got our own pasts but when we go to online dating apps let us go with our eyes wide open let's not go to these online dating apps and you know you start chatting with a guy you start dreaming and be like i want it to happen soon he must be the one so that i can show them that i'm not a failure so that i can show them that i'm beautiful i've got someone who loves me <laughs> as much as it might sound so good to you but this puts you in a very vulnerable situation you wanting to prove to people that you are not a failure because you will stop concentrating on them red flags <laughs> and concentrate on rushing things without knowing this guy very well to show people people that may be talked bad about you if you rush things you get married to a wrong guy my dear sister same same people that you wanted to impress they are going to laugh at you the most so let us take our time to get to know these guys that we meet on online dating apps and follow online dating rules so that you can have that healthy relationship that will last forever but the truth is lillian wanted to prove to her enemies that you see i am not a failure <laughs> i found the right guy without knowing that she was doing it the wrong way so started attaching herself emotionally to max the american guy so guys there is this say it's so funny and i always say this in my videos it is in swahili but i'm going to translate it for you ali <laughs> rogana okay amesha kufa the one who bewitched women died long time ago because <laughs> we see lillian in lillian's first relationship the guy never introduced her to his parents the second guy same same thing and those relationships were a failure but did not learn from her mistakes even this marks the american guy 
yes she attached herself emotionally yes the guy was like i'm so much in love with you believed him and never asked the guy about his relatives about his parents for her it was just okay important the guy has said is in love with her that is wrong to you ladies that have been on online dating apps for so long today i've got a tip for you here if you have been doing things this way in those three years in those five years and things have not been happening it's time to change my sister it's time to change change things so that you see what will happen because maybe the way you are doing things you are doing things the wrong way that's why you're not seeing the results keep on working towards yourself improving yourself last time when i shared how a story there is one of my babies a bella baby who wrote to me and was like she has got a friend this friend is married to a white guy and found that white guy on a dating app to be precise muslima so this lady was telling my baby that it's time to change because even me what helped me i had to change everything in a good way i had to invest in myself taking care of myself you know she had to change her wardrobe but it's not that she was doing that for a guy no trying to invest in herself improving in herself in a better way so she changed her wardrobe this lady went to an extent of renovating her room had to add lots of lights so that when she finds someone online and they have to talk then there is enough light the guy can see her very well so she did lots of changes including paying for a dating app which I don't agree. That one, guys, I've told you not to pay for a dating app. And if you are to pay, chat with guys that are paying. But this lady told her I also had to pay. And she paid for the whole year. Lots of money. The lady really invested in herself so that she can find love. And yes, eventually found love. All her money came back. <laughs> yeah so why am i telling you all this i'm telling you all this so that you can change things the way you are doing them and you people who always watch my videos i've done a video on how to take good photos for your online dating profile including the colors guys don't ignore that if you followed that you changed your profile and still nothing is happening pray more pray without ceasing keep trying that guy is going to come but it's time to change things if you have been doing things same same way and no results so to those of you that have been in bad relationships maybe you dated guys in real life on online dating apps they treated you badly please don't sit down and start crying of what happened to you learn from your mistakes so that the next guy you're going to be dating you just don't date him just for the sake of dating no you watch them the red flags learning from what happened in your past love relationship experience so lillian did not learn at all at all <laughs> from her past love relationship experience which is sad so guys lillian was so happy so much in love is dating a new guy from america not an ethiopian guy and the guy too was showing her i'm so much in love with you i'm so into you and after four months of them communicating this guy told her i plan to come to ethiopia to meet you for that first time in real life when lillian heard that was like oh yes i'm so excited my love i can't wait to see you so max told her i want you to start looking for the accommodation so start researching about the hotels and send me the link so that i can take a look and we decide together lillian tells us did that started making a research of the hotels and could send him the link but every link she could share about the hotels the guy could complain it was complaining 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 and in the end was like aren't there airbnb because i would like to see the airbnbs too 
so she started researching also about the airbnbs the best location and could send the link in the end he was like okay i like this airbnb let's make a booking so you book for that airbnb and when i come i'm going to refund you your money and here lillian tells us she trusted him trusted every word he told her which is very very wrong like i've told you never ever give your a hundred trust to a stranger but lillian trusted the guy and went ahead paid for a booking fee of that airbnb just like how max told her so time for max to go to ethiopia came and yes he traveled that day lillian went to the airport to wait for him he arrived she was so happy to meet him they hugged kissed <laughs> you know that first meeting at the airport so after the airport they went to that airbnb and when they arrived he had brought her one gift which was a sport t-shirt a very cute one she was so happy and another thing that followed after the gift oh my god <laughs> this is the moment that every woman that dreams to get married dreams of <laughs> yeah he went on his knee and asked her to be his wife with a ring oh goodness lillian was so happy because she didn't have any idea that that was going to happen that fast she said yes hugged him kissed and of course that night they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> it went really really good but lillian tells us when she looked at the ring her gut told her something is off so when they slept the next morning, the first thing she did, left him at that Airbnb and went to a jewelry shop. And her intention to go there was to check that ring. So checking the ring, oh my God, the shock of her life wasn't even a gold ring. It was a fake ring. Got so upset. And as she was going back to the Airbnb on her way, decided to call her friend to tell her of what she has just found out, you know, and told the friend, I want to leave this guy immediately. I'm going to the Airbnb to pick my things and go. Who gives you a fake engagement ring? You know, who does that? So the friend told her, you know what, Lillian, I think you should calm down maybe this guy wants to test you to see if you are materialistic <laughs> so instead of you going stay to prove to him you are more than that you know you are not materialistic and he's gonna love you for that so go back pretend like nothing has happened but now lillian tells us you know after all that happened that i was dumb i was just a fool you know stupid to listen to my friend i wish i left him that same same day but i didn't do that so lillian went back to the airbnb pretended like nothing had happened <laughs> you know smiling and showing love and affection towards max max told her my love you know now you are my fiance i think it is right you take me to your parents i want to see everyone you know do an introduction and as for us women when a guy tells you i want to see your parents you think oh yes this guy is the one maybe i was just overthinking about this fake engagement ring <laughs> yeah so she was so happy that the guy wants to go and meet her parents so yes guys lillian had to call her family and talk to them about max was like he would like to come and see you the parents were really happy and you know for us africans if you're not an african watching this the truth is we are so welcoming when it comes to visitors so lillian's family prepared 
a lot you know for that visit invited everyone you know their extended family so that they can see Lillian's fiance and yeah the day came Lillian took him to his family all was cool they were so happy to see him and we we're so happy for Lillian after the visit they returned back to the Airbnb kept on you know enjoying good time together enjoying the goodies <laughs> yeah going to different places and Lillian tells us the funny thing is whenever they could go to a restaurant this guy could pay only for one person he could pay for the things he consumed could not pay for Lillian so Lillian could pay for herself convincing herself in her mind that this guy is testing me to see if I am responsible to see if I am not materialistic but guys the truth here from your sister is that that was not a test never ever accept that if you remember there is a story i shared here and i asked you a question guys don't you like to be spoiled of course you like don't you like your man to take you out for dinner you know and take care of you <laughs> cause you like an engagement ring it's just a normal thing it's just the normal process you can't give me a fake ring just because you want to taste me no guys that does not exist that is why i've been telling you be you if you like to be spoiled you have to show him yes i enjoy it i like it when you spoil me the things you like when you are talking of course after creating a relationship you tell him the things that you like there is no need to hide and you tell him no it doesn't matter <laughs> Even if you take me out for dinner, it's okay. Even if we never go out for dinner, it is also okay. Whereby deep in your heart, you know that, oh my God, it makes me really happy, super happy when I go out with my man or when he gives me gifts. I shouldn't pretend. And I told you, whether he is a white guy, whether he is a black guy, you meet him on online dating apps, treat him same same way you could have treated a black guy in real life or in this case an ethiopian guy cause nothing is different dating is the same engaging you is the same i repeat if he is to engage you he shouldn't engage you with a fake ring if you are to go out you came for me to see me i am your girlfriend i am your fiance you pay for my dinner you shouldn't make me pay Please, please, dear beautiful ladies, let's learn from this. So Lillian kept also tolerating that. The relationship kept on moving. She kept on giving out her goodies. And when it comes to the Airbnb, he never refunded back the money that she used for the booking. But not only that, tells us he never even paid for that airbnb and because it was in her name she had to pay full accommodation and was too polite too nice to ask him to pay for that airbnb I was like anyways let me pay maybe this guy really is testing me and he will think that i am responsible if i do this but what she was supposed to ask herself he promised to pay for that airbnb you know he told her book and i am going to pay you back your money for booking but in the end he did not pay her back he did not even pay for that airbnb and still lillian was there making him have a good stay in ethiopia oh my god again dear beautiful ladies you meet a guy online and then you start talking of him coming he should pay for his own hotel you're not supposed to put any of your money into that if you are financially stable maybe on his stay you can choose the days you can offer for dinner but never pay for his hotel or his airbnb please let us stop being too nice 
to these strangers. Let us stop trusting them. I remember helping a lady who was also going to be scammed in this way. A guy was telling her to pay for the hotel. When he arrives, he's going to pay back her money. I told the lady, do not do that. Do you know how it ended? The guy never went to meet her. <laughs> he ended the relationship and I told her, be happy. Don't be sad about it. That guy did not deserve you at all. Just wanted to use you. He comes to Africa, stays for free, enjoys the goodies and returns back to his country. End of the story. So good it ended earlier and she thanked me, was so, so happy. Also with the t-shirt that he gifted her, she came to find out those t-shirts are given for free. <laughs> so he did not even buy it. Imagine this guy. So yes, he stayed in Ethiopia and after that he returned back to America. When he went back, Lillian told herself, because this guy has seen me that I am real, I'm not materialistic, I'm not a scammer, I am a good woman, you know, a wife material, he will be more loving and caring. But the guy remained the same, he could talk a lot, promise a lot, but in their conversation it had passed eight months of him being in Ethiopia, never said that I am coming back to get married to you, no. He was just promising her, you know, I want to have a family with you, I love you so much, only words. <laughs> So she kept on waiting, hoping maybe tomorrow he's going to talk about coming here and get married to me or inviting me to America so that we can get married. But it did not happen, guys. And another advice here, instead of you hoping that after him returning back to his country, he will start talking of inviting you, he will start talking of coming back, better discuss this when he comes to visit you in your country. What is the next plan of your relationship? Yes, you have met, then what? Or if he invites you in his country before you leave to go back to your country, you should know what is the next plan. How is your relationship going to work? Knowing the step forward. That is how you date a guy in a serious way. Don't wait a guy to be the one to talk about that. Remember, you should have a say too. In a relationship, you need to talk. You need to ask questions. Do that and you will thank me later. <laughs> So when Max went to Ethiopia, Lillian never asked what is the next plan. <laughs> For her, she kept on hoping the words will come out of him and he will put actions into it. But it wasn't happening. She kept on hoping. And then one day, Max told her that he cannot handle a relationship because he does not feel to be in it. So wants to end things. Oh my God. Lillian cried and was like, why is this guy acting like this? Fought for that relationship to work, but the guy insisted that he doesn't see himself into that relationship. It was a very painful moment, guys, for Lillian. And tells us at that time her biggest regret was introducing Max to her family because her family kept on asking her how is the relationship going with Max? How is Max? She kept on pretending that everything is okay because she was very ashamed to tell the parents that Max ended the relationship. So yes, it ended like that. She kept on with her life but after three weeks, Max returned and was like, I'm really, really sorry to have told you those words. I still want to be with you. I still want to have a family with you. What had happened to me, the doctors discovered that I have test cancer. So what I thought is to end the relationship because I knew you are not going to accept me with my sickness. I was so frustrated. But now they told me they catch it at a very early stage. Everything is going to be fine and soon. He also said for those three weeks they were not talking, 
he went on a deployment in another country then that's when <laughs> Lillian was like is this guy really sick asked how did you go on a deployment whereby you have been discovered you have got stickle cancer he was like it was a must for my government to go there that's why i went there so they kept on chatting and lillian yes gave him a chance but it was a chance of her observing him monitoring him because he had told her lots of lies and she was no longer in love with him the respect and love that she had for him before had gone so she was there you know chatting with him and observing how things will go so as they kept on talking max never ever talked of having doctor's appointments because he is sick <laughs> nothing like that and she kept on confirming that this guy does not have the technical cancer as he claims so yes chatted with him for something like two weeks and after that was like no this guy is a liar and will never change also at that time had come across my youtube channel <laughs> learned lots lots of things and was one of the reasons that made her end it with max also regretted why did i give him even my two weeks to observe because i had seen from the start he is not a good guy he was just a player so yes was regretting but at the same time happy that she ended it and after ending it and as per now lillian tells us she is very better and in a beautiful place with god also guys now she has learned her lesson so she is dating someone and you know we are waiting for this to be a success story so that i can bring it to you and tell you guys do you remember lillian <laughs> we have her success story yeah so among the things that she learned would like to give you an advice from that so her first mistake was not to listen to her gut and tells you every woman has got that inner voice deep inside there so always listen to it be obedient follow it it will always lead you to the right way because for her she ignored it and that's why she kept on dating a wrong guy another mistake when he made her pay, she was supposed to end that relationship. Like I have said already, I've talked about this. Another mistake that she did and tells us it was when he brought her a fake ring and decided to close her eyes on that. He is generous. He is human. He should introduce you to his parents. If he doesn't have parents, his relatives. If he doesn't have relatives, his friends people close to him get to know his world so tells us i wish i could have been more wiser more careful but it is what it is so she keeps on telling you guys be careful for her yes she did a mistake but would like you guys not to do the same mistake that she did and last 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 she tells you guys please do not be carried away with sweet words that the guy tells you watch the actions because actions speaks in a volume <laughs> speaks louder than words so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed you have learned a lot Please, please give it a thumbs up. If you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. And please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.